I'm Peter Block here in Atlanta at ACC 2010, and on my left is Dr. Martin Fink from Amsterdam. Uh, Martin has just uh, presented the Passion Trial. Once again, the old question of drug-eluting stents versus bare metal stents. Martin used the Texas stent in acute myocardial infarction. Tell me a little bit about how the trial was put together, and then tell me the outcome. Uh, we uh, totally randomized uh, 619 patients presenting with STEMI uh, within six hours after symptom onset. And we randomized them to receive either a Texas stent or a comparable bare metal stent. And we only had clinical follow-up, so no routine angiographic follow-up that could have influenced outcome. Um, at one year, we didn't see a difference uh, in any of the adverse cardiac events. Uh, and this remained after five years. There was no significant difference between the two stents in terms of clinical endpoints. So drug eluding versus bare metal, no difference at five years. When I looked at the data, there seemed to be some possible signal that there was very late stent thrombosis. Do you agree with that? And if so, is that important or should we not worry about it? Uh, I agree with you. There, uh, there is a trend towards a uh, higher percentage of uh, stent thrombosis throughout the years with, uh, after implantation of drug eluting stents. Uh, but of course, uh, with the number of patients we included, it could be by chance. Um, so we cannot con uh, conclude uh, that there is a higher chance of stent thrombosis. But uh, with, yeah, with stent thrombosis, uh, it's, al it's always presenting with either acute myocardial infarction or death. So we should uh, take uh, yeah, consideration uh, on, this, uh, on this matter. So you said earlier when we were talking about this before we began that you think a first generation stent is what should be used. And your data obviously support that, but what about the newer stents? Would you not even consider using them yet? Um, well, it's difficult. Uh, of course, uh, they're, uh, they're, the data on long term are lacking uh, nowadays, but uh, I think, for example, the COMPARE trial, which was published in The Lancet, uh, compared uh, the newer Everolimus stent with the paclitic cell eluding stent. And at one year, uh, there were better results in the Everolimus stent, uh, including a uh, lower percentage of stent thrombosis. And this was an all comer study. So uh, if this accounts for uh, the same for uh, acute myocardial infarction, we don't know. But uh, I think uh, there are uh, certain, uh, yeah, uh, we, there are certain reasons we should use the newer stents, uh, including newer bare metal stents, because they have thinner stent struts, uh, less restenosis rates. So, uh, we are improving. Well, that's maybe the take-home uh, question here, or the take-home answer, perhaps, that we are improving. Still something to learn, but that's for right. now, DES and BMS look pretty much the same, don't they? I think they do. Thank you, Martin. Okay, thank you.